Hey everybody, in the other video that I did today, I reviewed both the May 2020 and the June 2020 Guitar Crate boxes together, and I figured it might be a good idea for some folks to get to see just the 2020 June box, if that's what they wanted to see. And I figured what I would do is maybe two videos, one with everything that I've received so far, and then one with just each month. Guitar Crate is a monthly subscription service. You can subscribe for as long as you want and at any time. No cancellation fee or anything like that. There's different plans, $20 a month, $40 a month, acoustic plan, bass plans, seven, eight string. I think there might be a nine string plan. I'm not sure. Um, what they state is that you will receive stuff that's equal to the value of what you have paid for a Guitar Crate for the month. And the shipping is included in that. They ship out on the 7th of every month, which means they print the label around the 7th or the 8th. You'll get it about a week later. Um, let me look here at the package. I'll tell you, it's a uh, first class mail. So yeah, figure about a week. Uh, it comes from Connecticut and I live in Pennsylvania and it took me until today to get it. Okay, so last month, uh, you can check out the other videos for that. But for this month, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, the box is nice. If you ship anything out, uh, these boxes will be handy. But as with anything, we probably have a million boxes from Amazon. So I've already seen this as my other video shows. I opened it uh, live with that. But it came with an on-stage uh, kit for a wall hanger for your guitar, heavy-duty hanger. So I looked one of those up, and they're $20 to $25, depending on where you go. You get a Guitar Crate sticker. I signed up for the $40 a month plan that gets me two packs of strings because I do a lot of work for friends and myself. Uh, so I go through way more than two packs of strings a month. I go through more than two packs a week. So uh, D'Addario is what I selected. So with Guitar Crate, you can select the gauge of string and you can choose between one and two packs a month. Um, there's also a Pedal of the Month Club. I'm not adventurous enough to do that. I switched from all my old analog effects to a Line 6 Helix unit for my effects. And I still run that into a base of boogie. This is just hardware that goes with the uh, string hanger. And this is not a comment on Guitar Crate. This is just in the hanger. I would not trust my instrument and I don't care what I paid for it. If I just started out and I saved up all my money and I spent 200 bucks and that was my only 200 bucks, I'm not trusting it to these plastic drywall anchors. Stud mount your stands. I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Google it, YouTube it, it's out there. So stand, two packs of strings, in retail packaging, so the stand was not, the strings are, stand is not, this was. It's a spanner wrench, uh, and I already opened it, but this is the tool. This is what it looks like. This is a very handy tool. You should have one of these in your box, and it's actually kind of ironic. I had misplaced mine within the last month, and when I opened my last guitar crate, I was kind of hoping I'd get one, and I didn't, but I got one now invaluable tool. You can get one of these for seven to 10 bucks at a music store. Pick holder thing. I mean, if you want to be a real dork, carry your picks around on your keychain. Hey everybody, I'm a guitar player. Uh, just be like me, put them in your pocket and then lose them in the dryer. And they included a couple picks, um, various thicknesses. One's, uh, like the celluloid stuff that you light on fire when you're a kid. Um, and then these are like almost like a hybrid jazz shape. I really can't get into them uh, due to the shape. I like a real pointy pick. I use um, a sharp pick. I order them from a company uh, and I have my, my logo put on them. And this video is not about me. It's about Guitar Crate. So I won't, you know, get into showing that. But you could probably get one of these for, I bet, three bucks at your music store. So we get a spander wrench. We get a stand. We get two packs of strings. And that's it for this month. So, so far... It's, it's pretty decent. I don't really have too many complaints. Um, I just like the surprise, to be honest with you. I like receiving something new in the mail. Uh, it gives me something to look forward to. And who doesn't like that? Uh, just something different. I'm going to keep this going for maybe uh, two more months, maybe three months. I may switch from the strings to the pedal of the month club. But again, I replaced all of my analog effects with uh, Line 6 Helix units. And uh, when I liked that enough to replace the pedals, I bought a second Helix unit. So I really don't have a need for any pedals. 
Um, and the only reason I bought a second Helix unit was so I could run the same program on it in case something happened. But I, I don't know, I might do it just for these videos. All right, take care.